If you truly knew how many hearing aid clinics were doing this, you would never trust any of them to treat your tinnitus. Hey guys, welcome back to the Dr. Cliff AUD vlog. This is vlog number 275, and today I wanna to share with you my number one pet peeve when it comes to tinnitus treatment. But before I do, do me a huge favor, click the like button, really helps out the channel. And if you are not yet subscribed to the channel with notifications turned on, go ahead and do that as well. It is greatly appreciated. Okay, so um, this particular video was not necessarily prompted by anything other than me just seeing something consistently over and over again when it comes to uh, clinics that say that they treat tinnitus. Tinnitus. Now, let me give you a little bit of a foundational understanding of tinnitus, that ringing and buzzing inside of your ears that a lot of people have. In fact, 90% of individuals who have hearing loss experience tinnitus. And the biggest reason why is because when you start losing your hearing, your brain is deprived of sound in certain frequency ranges, oftentimes in the higher frequency ranges. And because your brain is used to receiving high frequency information from your environment, when it starts losing it, it starts to replace it with a phantom sound. Now this doesn't happen for everybody, but a lot of people do experience tinnitus. Some individuals are have no issues with it. Some individuals, it bothers them to some degree. And then other individuals, it's totally catastrophic where it basically ruins their life. So it would stand to reason that if you were to able to replace the missing sound from the hearing loss using hearing aids in most cases, that you'd be able to shut down the perception of the tinnitus or at least reduce it to some degree. And that does happen for around 70% of individuals who have hearing loss. But for the other 30% of individuals who have hearing loss, just treating the hearing loss will not completely get rid of the tinnitus. And in some cases it may have no effect and in other small amount of cases it may actually be worse for the individual who has tinnitus. But here's the thing. Inside of the world of hearing aids and hearing aid clinics, there's a lot of clinics that say that they treat tinnitus, but the only thing that they do is treat the hearing loss with hearing aids. And if that doesn't solve the tinnitus problem, then they're basically all out of ideas at that point. Now, there are a lot of other variables that go into your tinnitus, such as sleep, such as physical activity, such as nutrition, such as drug and alcohol use. There are a lot of different things that actually go into it. So um, hearing loss being one of the biggest culprits behind tinnitus, yes, it does make sense to actually treat your hearing loss if you have a hearing loss and you have tinnitus as well. But what happens when using hearing aids doesn't actually help. If you're not going to a clinic that actually does more things other than just addressing the underlying hearing loss, then you're basically setting yourself up to fail. But it never fails. I see over and over again on YouTube and Facebook and what have you that clinics are talking about, hey, we treat tinnitus. And then you go visit their website and you find out that the only thing that they have to offer is treatment with hearing aids. And I see this all the time inside of my clinic. I have patients who who come in, they have hearing aids already, they're like, hey, um, I'm getting my hearing loss treated, but I'm not getting the tinnitus benefit that I thought that I would get. And I went to a clinic that promotes the fact that they do all these different types of tinnitus treatment, but really the only option that they gave these individuals was treating the underlying hearing loss. They never did any type of counseling. They never did any type of additional therapy. They never looked at any other variables in their life that may be contributing to their tinnitus symptoms. There are lots of other options when it comes to tinnitus treatment and hearing aids are just one of the components. So for instance, if someone has tinnitus and they go into a tinnitus clinic and they identify that they have hearing loss, there is a chance that they will recommend that they go and they get hearing aids either from their clinic or from another clinic. But if that doesn't completely eliminate the tinnitus, guess what? They have a variety of other treatment options that they can use to address the tinnitus symptoms and ultimately help you get control over that ringing and buzzing sound. So what really should you be looking for if you have tinnitus as well as hearing loss and hearing aids aren't solving the problem? Well, first and foremost, you have to ask the clinic that you're going to if they have any other means of addressing the tinnitus. And if they basically say, no, hearing aids are our only option, then that 
probably isn't the right clinic for you when it comes to your tinnitus treatment. They should be offering other things like tinnitus retraining therapy or cognitive behavioral therapy or bimodal neuromodulation using Lanier. There's a variety of other treatments that they could offer. They may even offer something that my modern tinnitus co-founder Dr. Craig Casper and I are developing called biometric tracking. The reason why we're pioneering the use of biometrics inside of modern tinnitus specialty centers is due to the variability of tinnitus treatment. And what I mean by that is it's really hard to identify if the treatment that you're administering is having a significant impact on someone's overall tinnitus symptoms. Now, you can use questionnaires, but those are only a snapshot in time. What we're developing here with biometric tracking is actually identifying certain biomarkers of an individual like their sleep quantity and quality, their stress levels, their heart rate variability, and a variety of other biomarkers that we can use as a proxy for their tinnitus. So for instance, if we identify in the biomarkers that they're not sleeping well or that they're not sleeping long enough, we can start to develop strategies to improve their sleep. And we know that if we can improve their sleep, we're gonna end up seeing it from a biomarker standpoint, and that is typically going to correlate with reduced tinnitus symptoms. But unless you're tracking this stuff, you really don't know. Now, someone might think that they're sleeping really well or sleeping long enough or sleeping with a high enough quality of sleep and their REM sleep, their deep sleep, and all of that, but at the end of the day, they're really not because it's hard to know if you're actually doing the things necessary to keep your tinnitus symptoms at bay. At the end of the day, we believe that it's going to be literally impossible to successfully treat tinnitus to its fullest extent unless you have a deeper understanding of what's happening inside of the human body. And if we can use biometric tracking to actually identify what's happening inside of the human body, then we're gonna be able to customize treatments and measure the effectiveness of treatment. So let me give you a for instance here. Let's say that you use hearing aids and it doesn't have any positive impact on your tinnitus symptoms. And so you end up going to the next level of treatment, which may be bimodal neuromodulation. So you're doing tongue tip stimulation as well as auditory therapy at the same time, typically using the linear device or any other device that comes out in the future. Instead of trying to determine whether or not that's actually having an improvement using a questionnaire that's not very sensitive, you could actually track the biomarkers of an individual and see if they're trending in the right direction using that new form of therapy. And if they are, you want to continue on with that therapy. If their biomarkers are starting to show regression using a certain type of therapy, you probably don't want to continue on with that therapy because it's not actually helping. In fact, it's making things worse, but you would continue to use it if you didn't have an understanding of how your body is responding to that particular treatment. So here's the thing. We're not trying to hang on to this biometric tracking for ourselves. We want to share this biometric tracking with other clinics out there that truly treat tinnitus above and beyond them just treating tinnitus with hearing aids. We already have a number of these specialty centers across the United States, and they're using this biometric tracking inside of their clinics to identify which treatment is being the most effective for their patients when it comes to tinnitus relief. So if you're looking for a place to actually treat your tinnitus and they're promoting that they just use hearing aids to treat tinnitus, you probably want to steer clear from a clinic like that and find a modern tinnitus specialty center instead.